This series is proudly hosted by the Alberka Forum for Islamic Economy, a non-profit global think tank that has paving the way for Islamic economics and finance and its horizons for nearly 50 years. We have to present to the world an economic system based on true Islamic concepts of equality and social justice. There was a direction with respect to transformation of the industry by 2027. So based on that, uh, we developed a plan and we are working with the industry. Primarily Islamic finance does not mean something which is specific for Muslim. No, in any country of is an Islamic country, you can see that these products are available for Muslim and non-Muslim both. We started uh, as a result of a directive from the Supreme Court of Pakistan. We granted licenses to full-fledged Islamic banks, the subsidiary of the conventional banks who were doing Islamic finance, and the windows of the Islamic banking. To me, there is a huge opportunity for the Islamic banks and Islamic banking institutions. 92% of our uh, donations or zakat were coming from Pakistan and 8% work from expert Pakistani across the world. But we get from uh, Muslim, non-Muslims, then we have we also are getting some amount in endowment also. Let me share with the audience who are watching us live. Uh, we are receiving your questions. In Pakistan, we have about 217 million bank accounts. In Pakistan, the growth of Islamic economy has uh, uh, mixed results. Uh, in some areas, Islamic economy has uh, done quite well. Uh, for example, our uh, banking industry, the asset uh, base is now $34 billion, and the deposit side is $26 billion, which uh, is 20% of the overall banking industry. 